Munago Hospital Casualty Unit is a learning example of how dangerous border border cyclists can be to human life. Doctors here hardly rest due to the big number of patients that come in as a result of accidents. This place has a trauma center where severely injured patients are handled and has two patients' beds. When they arrive here, we receive them in the trauma center, we put them on these beds, then we begin resuscitating them, try to stabilize them using the machines helping us and that's when we work as a team with other doctors who are in the unit. The casualty unit receives over 60 patients on a daily basis and majority of them are victims of border border cyclists. Most of them, uh, the percentage is uh, about 98%. Most of the patients we do receive injured patients, the injuries are caused by motorcycles. Okay, most of the people will label them as border borders. Yeah. Okay. Um, most of the patients here have their legs raised. Some have spent months, others days, depending on the healing process. To theater for craniopotome, somebody is could be having a subdural hematoma. If we've done um, the craniotomy and remove the blood clot from the, the brain, so that patient doesn't come back here, then we take to another unit. If the patient needs more, um, more intensive care, we've got a, an intensive unit uh, called 3D. That's where we put the patient. Now the patient can stay for a longer time, but here we are at least... Nantaja Godfrey is among the hundreds of border border victims lying in pain at Mulago Hospital. His story is not different from his friends. He was hit by a border border cyclist who was drunk at Indeba when he got the accident. These patients have asked border border riders to be more responsible while riding. Back in the speed, young, young, the number of patients at the unit is quite big. They want government to increase the number of doctors and space. Janina Nabokera, UBC at Molago.